Hi Virgo, this is Sandy Couture and I am here doing the astrological tarot reading for the sign of Virgo for uh, Aquarius season, January 20th through February 19th. And um, right now all of us are feeling a little bit of buoyancy in our life because about a week, maybe eight, 10 days ago, um, Mars moved direct in Gemini. It has been retrograde for three months and in a powerful position um, affecting all of us. Mercury went direct this last Wednesday, so that's always a release of certain types of energy. And today, Uranus, the higher octave of Mars, goes direct in Taurus. So we currently have no retrograded planets. Um, we have about a three month window where this is true and boy, it is gonna feel like a breath of fresh air and no surprise that it's coming closer to the springtime and um, we're getting this burst of energy. Uh, take advantage of it. Allow yourself to move forward with ideas and projects that maybe you've had on the back burner or you didn't know what to do. Um, move forward, find out what you need to do and go for it. So the first card that I pulled for you, Virgo, is an interesting card. It's just a page of swords. Now pages were always messengers. It seems as though um, this page is asking you to be careful. He's kind of protecting or asking you to be careful um, in, I don't know, something that has to do with communication or ideas. It's asking you to be cautious and remember to check all of those ideas. Now the surprise or challenge card is an interesting card to have next to that one. It is the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Swords in many readings just indicates to me a surrender, a surrender to the mental stuff because swords are air which is all mental and um, Actually, that makes sense because Virgo, you are um, definitely a thinker as far as a, a sign goes and you like to make sure everything is perfect. But this card is saying, be cautious in what's out there and around you, but surrender to um, being overly uh, what what's the word I where you look in a microscope, where you want to inspect everything over and over and over and over again. Let go of that. Um, trust is your process. This is the goddess, the uh, empress. The empress is the mother of the universe and she's all about trust and new growth and, and um, supporting your feminine nature. So I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe you're having doubts about something. Maybe something has happened that's very much upset you, but let those thoughts go. Let those upset thoughts go. Don't keep re-examining it, re-examining it. Allow yourself to embrace your feminine nature to um, create new in your life and move forward with that. And actually, the most likely outcome would be abundance in um, many things, cups is a, a water sign, an emotional sign, It's about, and nine is about having all of your needs met emotionally and materially. So I'm not sure what's going on for you, but the first half of this reading is all about letting go of <coughs> being careful for things around you, but letting go if your feelings are hurt or letting go of your own um, things that are hurting you so that you can move into a more receptive place in your life and allow the abundance of emotions and emotional support to come forward to you. So hopefully that was helpful for you and I hope you have a wonderful month, Virgo. Thank you for watching.